What's up, folks? I'm here with Joe Pegg of Rabalo. He's the regional sales manager at Rabalo, and he's been kind enough here at the Miami Boat Show to take us through the Rabalo 360. Is that the right? Yes, sir. Because this, this is a bad unit here, and I just had to do a review. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Let's start with the power in the back. Break down what is pushing this 36-foot beautiful offshore machine. Yep, so this is our flagship here at Roballo. Um, so at the boat show here, we've got it paired with a triple 300 Yamahas. Um, you can also go up to, all the way up to triple 400 um, Mercury's on the boat. So, uh, and you can also get it in twin 425 Yamahas as well. Oh wow, so you got, you definitely got some options there. Sweet, and so in terms of the av average numbers, and I'm not gonna hold you to this, do you know what top end is and general cruise looks like? Yeah, depending on what motor package you get. With the triple 300 Yamahas, which has been a very popular package for this boat, it tops off about 60 miles per hour. Yeah, so. why would you want to go more than 60, y'all? I don't necessarily need to go more than 60 <laughs> miles an hour. Oh, okay, so we got 60 miles an hour top end, probably a cruise around 40-ish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, cruise around 40-ish. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Now, when we talk about this boat, if, if I said to you, who is this 30, the 360, who is it designed for? What would your answer be? Yeah, it's a great question. So what we went after with this boat is really uh, the best all around boat. Um, it's got all the hardcore fishing features on the boat, huge live wells, huge fish boxes. And at the same time, it has all the luxury creature comforts that a family would like too. So um, you get some boats are good at one or the other. This one's really great at both. Um, it's comfortable, it's got lots of seating. At the same time, you don't compromise anything on fishability. So um, really kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, I can absolutely see that. So let's talk about some of the features here of this uh, cockpit area. What are some of the, just the elements of the cockpit area that in your mind stand out and really make this a great experience in the stern area of the boat? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you've got a lot of space back here to fish off. Yep. This has got one of the most open cockpits in the 30 foot, six foot size. Um, great position of the live wells. You've got two 30 gallon live wells, one on each side here. Um, rod holders all the way across the transom. Um, it's one of the few that has uh, what we call a transom bridge where you can walk from one side to the other without having to step in the splash well. So hypothetically, you could work a fish from this point if you wanted to. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, a lot of times when you're um, bottom fishing or snapper fishing, you know, you know, it's nice to come off the back of the boat yeah. and you've got that this access point back here. And, you know, a lot of the action happens in the boat now. People use the boat for sandbars and yes. coming up the islands and, and this is a, in, or, or snorkeling or diving. And this is a part of the boat that people use. So having this access point is huge. And you've got a transom walkthrough door as well as two side doors. And that's something very unique you don't see in too many boats. So, you know, doesn't matter which side of the floating dock you pull up to or what side your boat lift is on, you've got access from both sides. Great for snorkeling, diving as well. And um, also, uh, boat's got a huge hard top. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's a lot of distance. Class. Like, it's not coming close. I'm 5'11 and a half, I guess. And I'm not, so it looks like six and a half. I'm, Plus yeah, feet, yeah, I'm six like, four, and I got, yeah, and I've got some got, room here. Yeah, so. so it looks like it's more like six nine in terms of the clearance. So Magic Johnson would just barely make it here. <laughs> that's that's uh, really solid in terms of this uh, back transom area. What are we looking at here? So this is a really cool design here. So um, you know we've designed a aft seat that folds out um, of the back here, wow. and uh, it's got a um, really high backrest and a wide base to it. So it's. One of the most comfortable seats you'll find out there, you know, me being a tall guy, it still hits yeah. me right up around the shoulders here. Yeah. And oh, wow. uh, this is the best seat in the house. It is actually ride. really comfortable. And oftentimes when it's like a transformer style seat, they lose some of the comfort, but the comfort clearly seems like it's there. So For that's sure. great. And now it's not taking any of that fighting area space, which is so critical to the game. I'm like, it's really like buries itself which is a slick design. That was that was really, really smooth. For sure, yeah, a lot of times you end up, like you said, you, you compromise with the back seat there to get the fishability. And, and with this design, we're really able to nail it with the fishability and the comfort of that seat. That is super slick. Love that. Now, uh, this area right here, I'm guessing this is access to all of our equipment? Yes, yeah, so this is an oversized uh, bilge compartment down here. So um, we've actually developed a platform to step down into. And oh, uh, smart. from here, 
you've got full access to everything from your fuel water separators to your bilge pump, um, all your pumps, your live well systems, um, all right down here. These are all composite fiberglass stringer system construction, all foam filled boat as well. So, uh, um, you know, this is, this is a, one of an industry best as far as bilge access to be able to get to everything you need down here. And it has lights down here too. So if you're, you're working down in the bilge at night, it actually lights up as well. I love the access, which is, uh, you know, anybody that's ever owned a boat knows how frustrating <laughs> access can be. If you ever have to get to some of that equipment to like your bilge or whatever that is, if you got a sea keeper in this boat, where would you put it? Would it go here or would it go somewhere else? Yeah. So we've actually got a spot down here in the build where the sea keeper will go into, um, almost like kind of a pod that it sets into. So we've got plenty of room for that. And also if you added a generator and air conditioner, we've got room and still plenty of room to work around it for yeah. your electronics. So. Really slick. Love that. Love the, the space and the opening there. So, on the side, we've got these, I'm guessing these are fish boxes on the side? Yes, sir, yes. So these are uh, huge fish boxes. We've got one on each side. So these are great, you know, if you get a big fish in the boat, you can, um, you know, you don't have to lift them up off the floor to get them in the box. That's gonna the hold your biggest right wahoo, there. for sure. Yeah. And your biggest yellowfin. Yeah, I mean, pretty much your biggest yellowfin, so. And I, you know, I like it too, being that deep, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the anglers now, you know, to kind of avoid the mess and the ease of when they take the fish to the cleaning table, that they have those big fish bag, insulated fish bags. Yep. And it's large enough. You can drop those fish bags in there and kind of eliminate your mess a little bit too. Yeah. Really nice. Pretty slick like that. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the, uh, helm area. So a lot of, a lot of detail went into this helm here. Um, one thing you'll see a lot of boats in the 35 to 38 foot range struggle with is the height of the dashes. Um, a lot of times you're almost forced to stand and drive the boat at all times. Yes. And we all know as boaters, you know, um, yeah, when you're in rough seas, it's nice to be able to stand, but you know, a lot of times you like to be able to sit down, relax and still have the visibility. Um, you told, like I'm sitting in the seat, feels great. Awesome viz. The footrest is literally in the perfect place, which is probably the most screwed up part of the design of most helms that I've been in. And I love where the, the footrest is. But you're right, I am not like reaching to have visibility in terms of you. Yes. Love yes. that. Is there anything in particular about the electronics or the design of the console unit that we should make note of? Um, yeah, so I mean, we, we spent a lot of time getting this part of the boat right. You know, we, we wanted the captain to be in the center of the boat. So having the center helm was important to us and then have two pads. So it's got the, the three person seat here. Spent a lot of time making sure the seat was, these are custom made seats from Rabalo. Um, they've got lumbar support, armrest, uh, flip up bolsters on all three sides. This has actually got an electric actuator so you can slide it forward and back. Oh wow, Steering so wheel that's adjustable, is adjustable as well, yes. which matters. Yeah, yep. so depending on height, you can you can move this, the, the seat forward. You can angle the steering wheel um, and make sure everything was, was within arm's reach of the, the driver. You've got your uh, joystick here for the motors. Your trim tab switches are in the right spot. Quick access, you know, sometimes fish on, you mm -hmm. gotta turn the stereo down. Yep. Um, you've got quick access here, your searchlight, um, all your um, autopilot controls right here as well, throttles. Um, and then we did two um, 16 inch displays standard on the boat. So this comes with pretty well equipped um, right out of the box. You've got um, uh, 16 inch SIMRAD displays. You've got an open array radar. It comes with serious weather. Um, and autopilot all as part of the standard package on this boat. Feels like I'm in an arcade, man. I mean, it's got a sweet <laughs> vibe right here. And it's just like the overall, like that black design with the chrome, just love the feel that you all have created with the design. And it's just sleek too, sweet, all right? So, so down here, we, um, we designed a um, sleeper and a head area. Okay. So, as you can see, the headroom oh, in here wow. is about 6'6". Six, six. So it's got a lot of headroom. Yeah. It's got um, tinted natural lighting that comes through to the top and also a frosted window that you can't see in, but you can see out and you get some uh, some natural light coming through here Super too. Um, so down here, we've got the um, a bed that is uh, about six foot eight. Um, so you've got plenty of length on it um, for two people. You've got teak steps down there with the uh, rubber grip. You've got a stainless steel sink um, you've got, you know, if you wanted to sit down here and ride out a rainstorm, you're not having to sit on the, on the toilet because oh, it's smart. got a fiberglass lid. Yep. And then this piece does lift up and has a, uh, electric head inside of the, uh, bathroom here and, uh, has an overboard discharge as well. And then, um, behind the panel here, um, 
We've got full access to all your electronics. And it's easy, once again, easy access, which is nice. It is, and, and you can see some of the detail work we do. I mean, this is something we really pride ourselves in with Robalo. We do, uh, we put a lot of focus into making sure the wiring is first class. Everything's labeled. Yeah. It's all labeled. Everything is loomed, you know, which is pretty rare. You know, you see that in the auto, automotive industry, but right. not too much in the marine world. All triple O ring Deutsch connectors, you know, everything's spaced out properly. The line, everything's lined up the right way. I mean, we really do a nice job with the wiring. Yeah, that's impressive. Now we're at the bow of the boat, and it seems to me like we've got some pretty cool elements to this. One that I noticed right out the gate, Joe, was our freeboard seemed to be higher on this boat than maybe some other boats. What was the thought behind that? What's the pros and the cons? I'm not smart enough to know the pros and the cons, frankly. That's the truth of it. So when it comes to a larger center console like this, what made that decision for you all? Well, on a, on a boat this big, a lot of the uh, consumers are using this boat to go out into blue water yes. and run out to the canyon, make trips to the Bahamas or maybe the dry Tortugas. So, um, you know, when you make those long runs, sometimes you get into some unpredictable weather. So having the higher freeboard when you get caught in rough weather, rough seas um, is a huge safety plus, you yeah. know, where you don't take a, a wave over the bow of the boat. So that was one thing we did on this boat. We make sure it had very high freeboard. So these guys that are running into blue water are gonna be very safe out there. Well, it definitely was noticeable and I could see how that would be very comforting and very benefiting to someone if they get caught in a, in a you know, in a snare and that happens sometimes, you can't even help it. it just, they just pop up sometimes. Another thing that I noticed that seemed pretty cool was you've got uh, these compartments. Tell us about that. Yeah, so on the sides here, um, you actually have uh, lockable rod storage. So, wow. um, you know, really nice to be able to store some rods on the boat, keep them locked up. And, um, you know, a lot of the customers that, uh, you know, run over to the Bahamas, you don't want to load all your rods to the golf cart at night and bring them to your hotel room and you don't want to leave them out exposed either. So being able to, to on, on both sides of the boat, to put some of your tackle and your rods and reels down here and have them protected out of the way is a huge plus. Yeah, super cool. I don't think I've seen that. It might exist out there, but that seems really, really innovative to me. So in terms of this, uh, I guess we would call this the, the lounger. Yeah, bow lounger. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing it's the dual purpose of place to sit or lay out also a big storage area. Yeah, so um, up here, you know, I consider this the, the best seat in the house. So um, we wanted a two person lounger that is uh, low enough where it doesn't block the visibility of the driver. Oh, okay, so people smart. can sit up here. Yep. And ours is a little bit easier to get up to. A lot of them, um, they're much higher. So you yep. got to climb up to and you feel much safer sitting on this one. We did design it with built-in lumbar support. Yeah, so I was going to say, it very, seems very, very ergonomic. Like yeah. you can just, I can look at it and tell more thought went into the design to fit the body. It is, and that's something our engineers put a lot of focus in is the comfort of, you know, the positioning of the cushions, the shape of the foam. And we wanted to make sure you're um, up here, you had sturdy um, grab oh, rails. Oh, yes. You know, a lot of them have the folding armrest where you feel like kind of wobbly. You know, this, if you get in some bumpy, bumpy seas, you know, you feel very secure. You got a spot for your drinks up here and it's very long. So this is one of the longer, so when you got people with longer legs, they can lounge out and their legs aren't dangling off the back of it, so. That crazy person coming out of Hall over Inlet can actually hold on now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, instead of getting completely tossed out of the boat. And then we've got the storage. And then you mentioned storage. So it's got a big dry storage down here in the bottom. Um, and this is actually a, a, a bow filler and a table that goes in the yeah. front of the boat. So yeah. yeah, that can come out and fill the entire bow and to make another bow lounge, so. To your point, you've got the social, you got the fishing, finding a way to merge them together, but the ability to take away the table and not have it interfere with anything and be able to you know, do the fishing that you want to do, it's pretty slick. Yeah, and that can actually form a, a, a casting deck in the front too, if you wanted a solid oh, casting yeah. deck. Sometimes, you know, um, you know, when you come up on a, on a weed line and, and uh, you, know, you want to cast down on some mahi and ha being on an elevated surface like that is a huge plus. So when you can put that fiberglass filler piece in, and cast down on some fish up there, um, it adds to the fishability of the bow area as well. That is nice. All right, Joe, so let's finish up with the bow. Once again, it looks like we've got the best of both worlds. What are some of the features up here to, to be aware of? Yeah, so the, the bow area has got a lot, lot to offer up here. I mean, you've got integrated backrest, so it's very sturdy sitting up here in the front. And with that integration, we're able to get extra tackle stores. I mean, uh, drawers up here in the front. Ah, so these smart. are great for storage. 
you know, you get your friends on board, they have their keys, their cell phone, their wallet, and they want somewhere to put it. You've got all these here, great for koozies and sunglasses and different things that you're gonna keep on the boat. And then you go up to the front of the platform here, you've got dry storage in the floor, and then these are insulated boxes. And one of my favorite features, nothing bothers me more than having to rip cushions off to get in and out of compartments. The cushion can stay on the compartment to access this. So this, yes. can, you can use this as a insulated box, so you can use it as a cooler. Um, and while you're sitting up here, you know, we've got the plugs for USB and the new C-type chargers for you can charge your cell phones, iPads. You've got cup holders up here, speakers, grab rail. So this is a very comfortable part of the boat. And then that table, as I mentioned, can go up here and you can actually turn this into a bow dinette. So, you know, if you're entertaining, bringing friends out on the boat, you know, this is a great place to hang out. Wow, this is, uh, this is definitely got it. Uh, final question for you, Joe, if somebody uh, wants this boat from an MSRP perspective, roughly, you can, get, you can do a range here, roughly what are they gonna look to spend for the Rabalo 360? So this boat here, uh, very the, the standard boat has got a lot of features on it. Um, electronics are standard, a lot of the stuff, the jail audio sound system. Um, this boat here equipped at the show is $499, um, and it includes most of your major stuff on the boat. Um, some, some high dollar add-ons to here would be like your uh, Sea Keeper, keeper yep. AC generator. But for the $499, it pretty much covers most of the uh, other op uh, options on the boat. Yeah, and based on the market today, and based on the very high-end feel of the boat, um, that's uh, very, very competitive in the marketplace today. Joe, this was awesome. This boat is awesome. And Joe has been with Verbalo for 20 years, so we appreciate him. We appreciate you as always. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends and with your family. And uh, that's our review for the Rabalo 360.